Hey! Wolf gang dying, never lagging. 2K bills to the fraction. Breaking it down to the pound, plus news and views on tips to get you cracking. It don't stop till we on top, boy. Brick by brick, we got a bill. Give a like and drop us up. This Wolf gang dying, you know it's real. Never chill. No. Sauce it up, we stacking, getting bills. Keep the traction, getting badges. 2K champ, this how it feels. This the dawn, yeah. Running it up, no time to play. You know what's on, yeah. The greatest builds inside 2K. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Don back here with another build video, man. And today I got y'all covered with a dope Ja Morant type build. I'm talking about a point guard that can shoot, finish, defend a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Pretty fast and can play, make, and dribble at a high level, man. Let's go ahead and get it started. So, first things first, the build is 6'3. I know that's a little short, but yo, these short guards is not out of the game, bro. Y'all not out of the game. You not. Just, just don't believe them. Then we got 174 at the weight, 610 as the wingspan. Then the body shape we can go with defined, just to make sure the dude don't look a little scrawny because we will, we are kind of low with the late with the weight. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, we're gonna get it started with close shot. We're gonna take the close shot all the way up to an 85. We need to put this high because we're trying to get a lot of finishing badges. And with getting that, you have to put some attributes on that you might not put on otherwise. Like close shot, we're gonna take that to an 85. Driving layup, we need an 88. Uh, the driving dunk, we're going to take that to a 93. You need that 93 to make sure you can get posterizer on at, Make sure you can get it on gold. Like, listen, if you don't want it on gold, for one, you tripping. It, it's, it's nice. Just, just believe me, bro. And we need to get as many contact packages as possible on this because John Morant really be going crazy for real, for real. So that's it for the finish. And we ended up with 23 finishing badges. Look at all those gold badges that are available for us to get already, bro. Now listen, we can go ahead and slide down to the shooting. Like I said, we had to make this build able to shoot just to make the build more fun, more playable. We're gonna take the three point shot and move it up to an 83. And then with the mid range shot, we're gonna take that up to a 76, man. Free throw, of course, we cannot forget free throw. If you make a slashing build, bro, this is just a pro tip right here. If you make a slashing build, don't forget free throw, bro, and put on a free throw that you know so you can hit them and not leave points at the line. Free throws are not as sweet as they used to be. You know, those were pretty much automatic points last year. They not no more, bro. Now with the pass, I guess we're gonna take this up to a 76. I know that's kind of low, but as long as you hit that 75-ish level, you'll be all right as far as passing goes. Now with the now with the ball handle, we're gonna put that up to an 89 because we want to make sure we get this one badge right here, the best badge, the badge you're gonna need to be able to blow past people on pretty much everything and like at a high level, you know what I'm saying? We needed that an 89, so we got that. Now the speed with ball, we gotta go high with this too. The build is little, so you gotta use your speed. You gotta use everything you have to get past these bigger builds, bro. They trying to take advantage of us. They talking about the, the small guys is gone, they not, bro. Now with the perimeter, because I do want this build to have some defense, you're gonna need defense if you're gonna be this small, bro. Like you can't be small and weak and all that other stuff. You gotta have something so you can fight back against these big builds. At the very least, if you get put into a zone, you need to be able to play some part of the zone. This this one can play the top. You can even guard somebody one-on-one -on -one because I'm gonna give you both perimeter defense and steal. So perimeter defense, we're gonna take that up to an 86. You see that does get us clamps on silver. Now for the steal, we're gonna take that up to a 78. What we're worried about here for the actual steal is that you get interceptor, bro. You wanna make sure you get that on silver to help you play those pass lanes. It'll solve a lot of the issues that you're gonna have from being a small build. Now for the block, we just, we're gonna, you know, just play with that just a little bit, take that up to a 30. Now with the defensive rebound, this is so we can get a couple extra badges. We're gonna take that up to a 53. And that's it right there, man. And you already see the badge spread, but we're not done yet. We have to add these physicals in. Don't ever sleep on these physicals. With the speed, we're gonna take that up to an 87. The acceleration, we're gonna take that up to an 85. We are shaving a little bit, so we can get a couple other things on the build like this, like strength, bro. We're gonna take the strength up to a 56, the vertical. Now, this is so you can get all of the contact dunks. This is for all of them, including the small contact dunks, which most people do not have. We gon', we gotta take that vertical up to an 85, bro, so you can get all of them. And then, last but not least, we're gonna have to take this stamina up to a 97. That is one place that you can cut from if you do feel like maybe you wanna get 20 shooting badges, or maybe you want, you know, like 19 defensive badges. 
you could cut the stamina down to a 90, but I wouldn't suggest it just because on this build, this is a slasher heavy build, and you're gonna be going to the rim a lot. You're gonna be going through that, that stamina quite a bit, so you might wanna have a little bit more than you think you need, even with the Gatorade, even with the, the gym rat uh, workouts. You wanna still make sure you have a lot of stamina on this build. Now let's talk about these takeovers, man. So we got finishing, and that's what I'm going with, double finishing. I'm not gonna make a Java Rant build that can't just go crazy as far as like when you get the ball, when you're out on the break, all of that. But in case you wanna be able to do something else, in case you wanna be like a little catfish build, you got the sharpshooting, you got playmaking, and you got a lot take. But like I said, I'm going with double finishing. Now, unfortunately, on this build, I don't get John Morant in the shades of. Honestly, I haven't seen that yet. But we get two very good people. I mean, Darius Garland ain't bad. Don't, don't think I'm tripping. But we got Mahmoud abdul Rauf. He was a dog. Then we got Damian Lillard and Darius Garland. And it comes out as an inside-out shot creator. A very solid build. But we got to go ahead and get into those badges, man. Because what is a build without the badges? But always take my advice with a grain of salt. Because you still need to choose the badges that match your playstyle. These are just the badges that I would put on in order to make the build playable for me. So make sure, like, you think about what you do best and kind of, you know, edit the build so that it covers what you do best as well. But these are just some awesome recommendations. Now, see, this is the best part of this build, man. Look, tier three, we get everything we want in tier three and it only takes one extra batch point and you know you already got four it only takes one extra batch point to get that slithery to gold and you would have everything in tier three on gold bro you can't get on hall of fame because posterizer on hall of fame bro that that takes the 99 bro but we ain't doing all that but you will have fearless finisher for the layups acrobat which helps you know the same thing helps those improve layups and helps you beat the defender with gathers you know what i'm saying then we got limitless takeoff on gold Posterizer on gold and the slithery finishers on silver for now. But y'all know y'all got the rebirth builds, so that'll help you get that out, get that to uh, gold as well. Now, for the shooting badges, I went kind of light with the shooting. This build can still knock some stuff down, man. I've been able to shoot with something as low as an 83 ball. So you just got to make sure that you can get that timing down and you'll be straight. So we got guard up on gold, we got green machine and space creator on gold as well. Then the last two, we got dead eye and blinders both on there. You could choose to go with like an Agent 3, but you would only get that on Silver, and Limitless Range, you would only get that on Bronze. So pretty much, just choose one of the Tier 3 Bronze badges, and not uh, one of the Tier 3 Silver badges, kind of like just go ahead and get that cord up. What I would suggest, if you want to get the best out of this build, choose something like Agent 3 as the core. It'd be easier to do because that's something you can actually control. Blinders and Deadeye would both be kind of tough to be cored. I'm going to just keep it a buck with you. Now, time for the playmaking. I chose the easiest badge in playmaking to core. Clamp breakers, bro. Super easy. You don't have to do anything other than get contact and just keep it moving, bro. Get contact, keep it moving. You can do, you can get this badge to activate multiple times on Hall of Fame on one possession. All you gotta do, go like drive to the goal, get your contact. Back it back out. Drive to the goal, get your contact. Put it on 12 minute quarters, and you will be able to literally get this badge in a few games. Up to up to bronze and then like maybe like half a silver in a few games and it's that easy killer combos we're gonna have that on because we're trying to break some ankles quick first step on hall of fame is one of the best things that this build gets make sure you get that on hall of fame hyperdrive of course and unpluckable do not be out here getting your pockets picked these lockdowns are coming for all of that bro you gotta be careful out here these lockdowns they got some steel and i hope 2k does not patch it it is a very good part of the game but the one downside, you would have to add some extra badges in here to be able to get bailout, which is only three badges to get it on bronze, bro. And what a and what a coincidence that you will have four extra. You will have three to put right there. Now, for the defense and rebounding, I chose ankle braces, challenger, and pick dodger all on gold. Then we got off-ball pest on bronze and clamps on silver, bro. Challenger, also another easy badge to get. But let's say you want to run clamps first. You can get clamps cored up. It doesn't take much to get clamps cored up either. Let's go ahead and get you those, those bump animations. Guard the person full court. Get clamps to activate multiple times. Challenger is a little bit harder just because you can't control when the computer shoots, bro. You can't. So when you don't have a lot of badges and you're just looking for something to core up, clamps will probably be the way to go. But Challenger, if you 
they're definitely if you drop the game to like a lower difficulty they'll probably try to shoot in your face a little bit more you'll be able to get that on get that on the core you'll be able to core that badge a little bit faster if you use like the lower difficulty but at the same time you'll get less progress on it but we're not too worried about that man but yeah that's pretty much it for me on these badges bro i will catch y'all boys in the next one it's your boy don and i'm up out of here peace Piling paper, got them talking nice to me. Down the bottle, it be going right through me. Brown baby, down to take a flight to me. They think that I'm stunting, but it's slight to me. Piling paper, got them talking nice to me.